In research, two broad distinctions can be made. And one is that we have a deductive approach. The other one is an inductive approach. So let's start with the deductive reasoning first. The idea is that we have a theory that we start out with. And based on that theory, we deduce hypotheses, right? Hypotheses are assumptions that we have, right? They're kind of like predictions of what's going to happen or what are relationships that we're going to find, right? And then based on these hypotheses, we collect data, data that then either confirms and supports our hypothesis or um uh, basically uh, offers evidence that does not allow us to support hypotheses or uh, falsifies our hypotheses the important part is here that we never can prove hypotheses right we just find supportive evidence for hypotheses imagine if you have the hypotheses that there are no black swans right and you say all ha all swans are white right and then you collect data and you find white swans they support your hypothesis that all swans are white but they do not prove your hypothesis right however if your hypothesis is that all swans are white and then you find a black swan well hypo your hypothesis is falsified right so that's the deductive way of creating knowledge and building our knowledge then let's look at here together at the inductive reasoning as applies it's applied to research and what's really interesting here when do we don't start from a theory but we start from observations right so we induce a theory based on our observations we notice different patterns and then we might be formulating tentative hypotheses and then build a theory right as an example we might observe that many swans are white or actually all swans we know is are white we notice this pattern swans are white then we might form a tentative hypothesis that all swans are white and we're building a theory that swans are animals that are white right and then basically building on our observation we developed a theory and what's important to look at is how these two approaches can be combined to use inductive reasoning to build theories but then at the same time when we have theories we should also be able to deduce hypotheses and test if we can find support, test if actually these hypotheses are able to be supported and have some sort of predictive value also for, for in practice.